All right, what's going on guys? It's Epoxy and here in this video, I'll be showing you how to install Mod Organizer 2 as well as showing you the initial setup to get you up and running and installing mods. Before we get started, make sure that you have at least one of these supported games installed and launched at least once. This will make sure that Mod Organizer 2 is able to find that game while we're installing and setting it up. So to get started, you want to go to the Nexus Mods link that I will have down in the description below that will bring you to this Mod Organizer 2 Nexus page. Once you're on this page, you want to go to the Files tab where you'll find two versions of Mod Organizer 2, the Archive and the Installer. So on this page, you want to click the manual download for the installer version of Mod Organizer 2. Once you do that, it will prompt you to save the installer to your PC. Select your downloads folder and click save. Now, once the Mod Organizer 2 installer has finished downloading, all you want to do is double click on it and you will most likely be prompted with a UAC notification asking if you would like to allow this app to make changes to your device. Make sure you click Yes. And now the setup for Mod Organizer begins. You will have to start by accepting the agreement, clicking Next, and here we will be asked to select a destination location for Mod Organizer to be installed. By default, it should send it to the local disk in a modding folder and then in its own MO2 folder. Now, if you do not have a secondary drive and you install everything on your local disk, this is the suggested location. So just to show you where that is located, if I click Browse, it will be located under the local disk in modding and in MO2. This is the optimal and best way to install MO2 on the local disk. The reason for that is because you cannot install it in the program files or in any game directories. Now, if you're going to install it on a secondary drive like me, ensuring you don't click on any of the folders or the drives so that the path above stays the same, click the arrow to minimize the local disk. This will display the rest of our drives. And as you can see, I have a games drive, the drive letter is D. So again, without clicking on any of the drives so that the path stays the same, modding MO2, we want to highlight the C and change it to the letter D to correlate with the games drive. Now, if we click OK and we go to browse and we take another look, it is now in the games drive under modding and in MO2. Once you have set up the path that you would like to install MO2, click OK. And now we can move on to the next step. Click next. Now on this next screen, you want to keep it on the recommended install and click next. We do want to create a start menu folder so you can just click next and make sure to create a desktop shortcut and click next. And now we can install Mod Organizer 2. It will go through the installation process and automatically install any of the requirements for Mod Organizer 2. That is why we opted for the installer version of Mod Organizer 2 as it installs everything that is required. No third party installations are required for this video. And now that the installation is finished, we can launch Mod Organizer. Click Finish. Now, the first time that Mod Organizer 2 launches, you'll see three options. The only option that you need to worry about here is New. Create a new instance. Click on it. This will allow us to select from a suggested list of games for the instance that we are creating. So if you open up the drop down menu, it will show you all of the supported games and mods for Mod Organizer 2, as you can see here. Select whatever game you are setting up for this instance and click OK. It will let you know that the data directory has been created. You can again click OK. Mod Organizer 2 will now ask you what game you are wanting to manage. Here you are going to select the game that you selected from the suggested list just a moment ago. During that selection, I chose Fallout 4, so I would choose the same game. Mod Organizer will now ask you if you want to show a tutorial, click no, and you can access it at a later date if needed. When you first get into Mod Organizer, it will ask you if you would like to associate it with NXM links. For now, we are gonna click no, as we're going to handle that in just a moment. So now that we have Mod Organizer installed and our first instance created, in this case, we are doing Fallout 4, but everything applies the same for every other game that you create instances for. So at this point, the installation is done, but we have yet to do the initial setup to ensure that the mods are installing to the location that we would like and to ensure that Nexus is linked properly with Mod Organizer. So for that, we're gonna need to go to the settings, which you could find by clicking on the icon, configure settings and workarounds, or by going to tools and going to settings. Here you'll see multiple tabs, but there's only two tabs we're gonna be focusing on in this video. First of which is paths. And here we are gonna be changing the location for our base directory. The base directory affects where the downloads, mods, caches, profiles, and overwrite files for Mod Organizer 2 are located. 
So as of right now, all of those different files will be sent to our app data on our local drive. So in order to change the base directory, you want to click the browse ellipsis as seen on screen, and that will allow us to select a location for the base directory. And as you can see, by default, it will automatically send it to the app data, local, mod organizer, and whatever game this instance is for. What I suggest doing is putting your base directory next to the same location that we installed Mod Organizer 2. So whether that be on your local disk or a secondary games drive, such as myself, you want to find the modding folder that you created and open it. Within the modding folder, we can now right click and go to new and create a new folder. Now, technically you can name this whatever you want. Just make sure you know that it is for followed four because you're going to have to do this with every game you set up for Mod Organizer 2. So I'm going to name mine MO2 Fallout 4 and hit enter. Once you have created the folder, make sure that it is selected and click select folder at the bottom right. You should now see that the base directory is set to the location that you just created, which will automatically change the location for the downloads, mods, caches, profiles, and overwrites. One thing you need to note is that once you change this and start installing mods, you cannot change it. So ensure that it is set to the location you would like and on the drive that you would like your mods installed. It is widely suggested that you install your mods on the same drive that your game is installed on. So once we are done with the base directory, we have that set up as we would like, we can move on to the Nexus tab. Here is where we will be able to connect to Nexus and associate with download with manager links. So to begin, you wanna click connect to Nexus. This will automatically launch a brand new window in your default browser, and it will let you know that Mod Organizer 2 would like to access your Nexus mods account. Make sure you click authorize. Once you do so, it will let you know that you have successfully logged into Mod Organizer 2. You can now close this window and return to Mod Organizer. Once you go back to Mod Organizer 2, you should see your Nexus account information on screen. You should also see a notification that says linked with Nexus successfully. Now, once your Nexus has been linked successfully, you wanna click associate with download with manager links. Just keep in mind that clicking this option does not prompt you with anything, so there's no confirmation that it worked. You can now click Okay, it will then ask you to confirm that you are changing the mod directory, so make sure you click yes. It will then let you know that you have to restart Mod Organizer. Make sure you click restart. So to ensure that Mod Organizer 2 is working as intended, before you leave this video, click file, go to visit Nexus, and it will bring you to the front page for whatever game instance you're currently on for Mod Organizer 2. Now you're gonna wanna find any mod that supports download with manager links. So just find a random mod that you would like to download, click on it, go to the files tab and find the mod manager download button and click it. That might give you a pop-up saying open NXM link proxy. If so, click open NXM link proxy. If you did not get that notification, it might've done the download automatically. Now we can go back to mod organizer two and the mod that we just downloaded should be located in the downloads tab. As you can see here, the mod has successfully downloaded. If your mod has successfully downloaded, you are good to install mods with Mod Organizer 2. If in the future you would like to set up more games with Mod Organizer 2, all you have to do is click the button at the top left that says Open Instant Selection Dialog to manage a different game. If you don't see that, click File and choose Change Game, and once you do so, it will ask you to restart ML. Click yes to continue. Here it will bring us back to the choose instance page where we can see the game that we just previously set up as well as the option again to create a new instance. All you have to do is click on new and follow the same steps that we did previously. However, there is one step that you will not need to do for further installations of new instances and that is linking Nexus. Once you've linked Nexus, it will stay linked with all of your other instances. And just to clarify, in order to change what game you're managing at the current time, all you have to do is open the instant selection dialog menu, restart MO, and select whatever game you would like to manage. So say I want to manage Skyrim SE instead, I would click on Skyrim SE, and that will launch the Skyrim Special Edition Mod Organizer. And that is the installation and initial setup of Mod Organizer 2. If you have any troubles, let me know down in the comment section below and I will do my best to help you. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed or got something out of it. If you did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe to On The Good Fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off.